Welcome to Humber Library's video on creating cross tables in Vividata. For an overview of this tool, watch our Introduction to Vividata video. This video will show you how to create a cross table to answer the question, what is the most popular phone for millennials living in Toronto? When you first log into Vividata, you'll need to select the dataset or study that you want to use. In most circumstances, we recommend selecting the most recent one. At the time of making this video, the most recent study is Winter 2021. Click on the name of the study and wait for the interface to load. There are no pre-made tables in Vividata, so after signing in and selecting a study, you will be directed to the Table Builder interface. The Table Builder automatically includes the 14 plus variable as a row or question and as a column or split. This 14 plus refers to the entire group of people surveyed, who are all aged 14 and over. It's okay to leave these variables in the table because they add context when reading the results. To build a cross table, add variables from the list of categories. Expand the demographics category by clicking on it. Then click on a variable that looks like a close match for your research question. In this example, the age generation generation variable is a good match, as millennial refers to a group of people also commonly referred to as Generation Y. A small pop-up will appear showing three options, add as question, add as split, or view answers. Click on view answers to see the different values that the variable holds. Variable values in Vividata are called answers because these are the answers people gave when responding to the questions in the survey. In this case, the answers are non-user, Gen Z, Gen Y, the alternative name for millennials, Gen X, Baby Boomer, and Pre-Boomer, each with its own corresponding date range. You can ignore the non-user answer, as this typically refers to the participants that answered no or did not respond to a question. In demographic categories in Vividata, all the respondents have answered all of the questions. Click the X on the pop-up to close it, and move your cursor over the variable to bring back the pop-up. For this example, click Add as Split to add this variable to the table builder. You will see the variable appear in the Columns section. With your cursor over the variable in the table builder, you can also click the X to remove it from your table. Note that you can also drag and drop variables into the columns or rows. The small symbols beside the variable names have meaning. The small icon of three non-overlapping circles means that people answering this question were not able to select more than one answer. That is, they can't be in Generation Y and be a baby boomer. The blue text box reading six of six selected means that we are including all the answers to the generation question in our table. To remove answers you don't need in your table, click on the blue text box. This opens a small pop-up. Select the answers you would like to see in your final table. Use the control key on PCs or the command key in OS X to select more than one answer. In this example, only generation Y is needed. Press the X to close the pop-up. Now the text box indicates that only one answer has been selected for the final table. To narrow the demographics to people in Generation Y in Toronto, click the Geography Submarkets variable and add it as a split. Then limit the answers to City of Toronto. You will notice that the variables are side by side. This means that in the final cross table, we will see the set of survey responses from everyone in Generation Y and the responses from all of the people surveyed in Toronto. To combine these variables so that we see only the responses of people in Generation Y who live in Toronto, we need to nest the variables so that they're stacked. To do this, click on Split Settings and select Nest Variable Splits. Now the variables are stacked.
to add a question or row, you follow similar steps. In this example, expand the Digital Devices category. Click the Mobile Phone Brands Personally Have variable, and from the pop-up, click Add as Question. Notice that the three circles in the icon are overlapping on this variable. This is because a person can have more than one type of cell phone, so there will be overlap in the answers. This is why the three circles overlap. To generate your table and see the results, click on the Generate Table button. This table shows that for people in Generation Y living in Toronto, the Apple iPhone is the most popular brand, followed closely by Samsung. To save your table so that you don't have to build it again, click the Export to Excel button. To return to the table builder to make changes, always click on the Rows and Columns tab. But be careful, using the Back button in your web browser may erase your current table. When you're still learning to use Vividata, it's strongly recommended that you use demographic variables as splits and the other variables as questions. This will help you learn to read the generated tables consistently and accurately. This video showed you how to answer the question, what is the most popular phone for millennials living in Toronto, using the Cross Table Builder. For more information on understanding the results, see our Vividata Reading Cross Tables video.